Hi, my name is Jenny. I am a hair and makeup artist in Charleston, South Carolina. I am introducing myself in this video because I don't think I've ever done that before. So if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's begin. Today I want to do a bronzy smoky eye and the whole face is going to be bronzy and glowy. I have went through my makeup collection and I pulled out some products that I haven't I haven't used lately and I'm going to begin with eyes and I don't believe I've ever done a look with laying low paint pot from MAC. So I'm going to begin with that. And like I said, this is going to be a, a warm, bronzy look. And laying low is kind of a apricotty I would say it, it it's a flesh tone with some apricot in it. I definitely wouldn't use this if you were, as an eyeshadow primer, if you were going with cool tone eyeshadows. All right. I'm going to get that smoothed out real. I think I used too much. I'm not used to using paint pot. I usually use a concealer as my eyeshadow base. One of my favorite eyeshadows, and I think a lot of people feel this way, is the Uninterrupted by MAC. It's a strange color, but for some reason it's just really pretty, especially with blue eyes. So I'm taking a Wayne Goss brush. It's a number four, and I'm going to put the uninterrupted in my crease. I have a palette with a bunch of MAC shadows. I put them together in a magnetic palette. I'm going to take the color in Bark and I'm going to put that on the out, outside corners and I'm going to use a Jacqueline Hill brush. I think it's the number 33. It is not. It's a 40. It's like a fluffy pencil brush. And I'm going to take that in Bark. And put it in the outside corner. Some people call it the outer V. My eyes are so round. Mine's a C. And I'm still keeping it in the socket. And I'm building it slowly. And I'm going to carry it underneath. Then I'm going to take the color coppering and put that on my lid. I'm using my finger because I like this to be good and saturated. I like it to really pop. I think this is a good Thanksgiving look. It looks like it has cornucopia colors in it. And then I want to blend the Embark. I want it to fade. So I'm going to take the color Folly and put that on the edge of the Embark, on the border between the Embark and the Coppering. 
And then I'm gonna take some more copper and, and put that on over the folly there. I think I'm gonna take some copper and, and put it over the embark underneath. And now I'm using the coppering to diffuse the, what was the first color I used? The uninterrupted. I'm gonna take a dark brown pencil. Actually, I'm gonna take Costa Riche and put that on my tight line in, in, in between my lashes. I'm really pushing it up in between my lashes. Now let's do I'm going to take the Stila eyeliner pen, it's called Always On, and put that on the top of the lashes. Really makes the eyes stand out, doesn't it? Just to add that little bit of liner on the top. All right, now I'm going to add just a light coat of mascara because I'm going to use lashes today. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Push Up Lash Mascara. Just a little coat on the top and the bottom. I hold my wand vertical when I work on the bottom. Um, let's do eyebrows. I think I'm going to use, first of all, I'm going to put uh, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter in my brows. I'm going to go ahead and put some moisturizer on my skin. I'm going to take some La Mer Renewal Oil. I'm going to let my skin be absorbing the moisturizer, the treatment, the skin care while I'm finishing it with my eyes. So, for those of you who follow me all the time and know who Pat and Patrick are, they've gone fishing this morning. It's they left about 20 minutes ago, and it's pretty chilly. I think it's in the 40s this morning. I'm, gl I'm glad to be staying home and working versus being going fishing. All right. I'm going to clean up where I hit underneath with the mascara and right there. All right, back to the brows. Now that my face is absorbing the moisturizer, the renewal oil, I'm gonna take Brow Gal. It's by Tanya Crooks. I'm taking the brow powder and it's in the number, it's in the number two palette. I don't know whether it's called medium or brown or brunette. 
She's got a dark one and then one, of course, for blondes. She also makes a uh, line Arches and Halo that's available at Target. I have not tried it yet. I understand it's really good. I have to bring my brows in on the front because they're very sparse in the front. They're short. They end too quickly. They don't go out far enough. Not only are they sparse, they're non-existent in the front. What you do see there is microblading that I had done, I don't know whether it was two years ago or three years ago. And the reason I haven't kept up with it is be with how long it's been is because I'm not keeping up with the microblading. I've been told by a makeup artist that my eyebrows are hideous, that whoever did them did an awful job, and that I needed to have them corrected, and the makeup artist recommended a brow person in Atlanta, and I never go to Atlanta, and I'd rather just draw my brows on every day rather than spend another 600 or whatever to have my brows done. All right, now I'm gonna take the spoolie side of my brow brush and comb that through. And then I'm gonna take, Tiny Crooks also makes a brow pencil. This one is in number four and I'm gonna draw the some individual hair and her brow pencil comes with a sharpener on the end and it gets it to a real gets the pencil to a very fine point which is helpful when you're trying to draw individual brow hairs okay I do have brows drawn on now I'm going to put a little bit more mascara on the outer edges, on the outside lashes. I want those a little more evident to give me guidance for what I'm going to do next. Wow. I'm going to take my pen from Smashbox. All right, now I'm gonna do the other one. I think maybe this pen is running out or something. Okay, that's just not working. I guess that pen's worn out. Here's a Tom Ford pen. This one should work. I know, why weren't you using it in the first place? I don't know. So while the camera was cooling off, I went ahead and put on my foundation and I used the Tom Ford Traceless in 
the color Fawn 4.0 and it's not enough coverage. So I'm going to take the bare, I'm going to use it as a primer. I'm going to use the bare minerals. I'm going to use a powder brush, just a regular powder brush. And I'm going to buff that on. And that, that Hollywood Flawless Filter, it's luminosity is luminescing right through the, is luminescing right, right through the powder. Okay, that's a little better. I used an eye cream last night and the skin under my eyes looks looks a little bit inflamed. <laughs> so, note to self, don't use that again. I know, I'm having the hardest time lately with getting my act together. Combing out my lashes a little bit. Let's use the Bare Minerals Warmth to warm up the complexion. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques powder brush for that. And I can see that's already helping. Run it across the top of the nose. Now let's play with the lashes. I have a pair of lashes here, the Ula Lash, they're number 302. I'm going to pull one of these out. These are the ones with the stiff bands. I usually do not like this type of lash. I don't think I can get it off the tray. Oh, that's just terrific. All the lashes are pulling out as I'm pulling it off. All right. That was my free one that came with a purchase. When I went to pull it out, the lashes just pulled right out. No wonder they gave me that. Wow, thanks. These are some faux mink lashes. They're by the brand Kiss. I'm going to pull one of these off and measure it to my eye. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to trim these because my eyeballs are not this big. I'm going to shape it around my finger first. Yeah, they're, they're super, super long. Okay. Put my glasses on so I don't mess these up. I don't know how many I need to cut off. Okay. I know now. All right. Now I'm going to pull out my Duo Glue. I'm currently using the Dark Duo on myself. I use a clear or iridescent colored glue from KISS in my kit. I don't know why. That's just what I've always used and I hesitate to try anything new on clients. And oftentimes they are not still and they have muscle spasms and that sort of thing. And I don't want to dot dark. Of course, the, the, the duo just peels right off.
glue is still pretty wet. I probably, I probably goofed that up. While those dry a little bit, I'm going to work on something else. Golly. That glue is so wet. See if that helped any. All right, let's move on to something else. Whatever that eye cream was I used last night is so drying that my face is eating my eyeshadow. All right, I'm going to use Savage by Tom Ford. And NARS has a Savage that's quite similar. Okay. And that's where I'm putting that. Pouncing it in. And a lip. I really like the MIP. by House Laboratories. I've been using Well People Lip Conditioner at night at bedtime. It's nice. I can't remember who sent it to me. If you, if you think you sent it to me, tell me in a comment. All right, let's do a lipstick. I'm going to use the Kim K, K, K W by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is Japanese maple, and it's very similar to cream, uh, cream de need. I'm going to take a Thrive pencil. The color is Stella. And I'll put that on my waterline. Like that. And I'm going to take my pen and get the inside corners of my liner a little bit. I don't think I like my lip look as good. What is it was that I was using that I like so much? Oh yeah. The myth with the iridescent gloss. Ha! This one's an oldie but a goodie. This one's Baby Sparks. That's better. So the decision was Myth Lip Liner by House Laboratories and Baby Sparks Lip Gloss. Now I'm gonna take the Becca, and this is not the blurring powder, this one's the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've heard a lot about the blurring powder lately on the channels that I've been watching. So that's probably gonna be my next purchase. That's blurring though, isn't it? Can you tell? from where you are. And highlight the nose. I'm gonna pull out one that I haven't used in a while. It is Show Gold from MAC. And 
And I'm going to put it on my high cheekbones using my Morphe big huge fan. And I wanted to play with something else today because I was watching a makeup artist that was using her little fan brush to do mascara. So I want to play with mine today. So I'm going to pull out my mascara again and put some mascara on my fan brush and play with this. See if I would say that it is beneficial. All right, I like that, playing with that. And somehow I've gotten my brows covered up and they're ashy looking. What happened? Let's try something. I could regret this. I'm taking henna. It's a, it's a shadow from the Sigma palette. I'm warming up those brows. I think I'm going to put some underneath my on my bottom lash line too. This is the shadow right here that I was using. And I put a touch, uh, while I was off camera, I put a touch of sh the show gold from the highlighter from MAC. I put a touch of that on the center of my lid. Even though I'm so that's my look today. I hope you enjoyed it. I I like these new lashes. I'll link which ones they are down in the description box so you can take a look at them if you like to wear lashes. And I I think I like the Hollywood flawless today. The luminous look. And I do think if you like a really sheer foundation and you like to your skin to look like skin, you would like the Tom Ford Traceless. I like to look a little more, I like a little more coverage than that. So, I would definitely, I will definitely always use the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation over the top to get, give me that extra coverage. I enjoyed this time with you and in the comments, let me know if you like to wear a powder foundation over your liquid foundation. And